Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're going to be reacting with Jessica. Guys, we're going to be reacting to Pastor Gino Jennings. There is no Trinity, only one God, and He is Jesus Christ. Guys, let's get straight into this. As always, we bear witness there is no God but one. There is no God with Him. There is no God besides Him. There is no God equal to him there is no God like him there is no God better than him there is no God higher than him God have no rival he is the master of all creation he alone is the true teacher and true sender all holy prophets and of all holy apostles you know when you think about God he has no boundaries he has no limitations no one is his counselor he don't need advice from anyone about anything he defined what perfection is God have no flaws. God is not begotten. God is before all things. When there was nothing in existence, there was God. He is before all things exist. Without him, there was nothing made that is made. Then Brother Paul says, how be it that this knowledge is not in every man? I received a letter from, no, not a letter. There's numerous of organizations that have wrote or have written so much on the truth of God just by watching us. And there's a watchdog group that wrote an article and said uh, they all was just chatting about the telecast and about, as they call it, my militancy. And they said that I don't believe in the fundamentals of Christianity, that there are three separate and distinct personalities to God. That was a true report. We don't believe in three gods at all. We don't believe that God have multi personalities because we don't believe that God is schizophrenic. Anyone that have multiple personalities is uh, schizophrenic. And when you narrow God down to three, you handicap him. I admit he is father, but look at what I'm about to toss at you now. God is father. God is father. God never was a son. That's right. Did you hear me? I want you to get this. I say God never was a son because God have no mother. God is not begotten. God don't have a birthday. And God is not a Jew. God is not Jewish. He is God. No nationality can lay claim on him. So I want to say, but I thought you teach Jesus Christ is God. That's yes and no. That's right. I'm able to tell you that yes and no. Amen. The name of God is Jesus. Yeah. But the flesh of Jesus is not God. Right. <laughs> I say the name of God is Jesus. But the flesh 
of Jesus was not God. That's right. The flesh of Jesus was Mary's baby. That's right. God is not a baby. No. God was in the baby. Amen. And then the baby had to grow. God don't grow. Right. God don't learn. That's right. The baby Amen. grew in stature. God's stature has no certain measure. No. He's God is higher than heaven. Yeah. Deeper than hell. Amen. Broader than the sea. Mm -hmm. Longer than the earth. Mary didn't breastfeed God. No. So no, God did not become man. No. God made man. Then got in the man that he made. Amen. Then the man inherited God name. Yes. And then that man had God title. And then that man was endowed with God power. Yeah. Showing you a separation between the nature of the man and the nature of God. That's right. Bible says God is a spirit. The Bible talk about the son of God was of the seed of David right. and David's seed is not spirit. That's right. Spirit was in David's seed. That's right. Spirit took on David's seed. Amen. Spirit took on the body of a Jew. Yeah. That's right. But the spirit was not the son. No. The Jew was the son of the spirit. That's right. And the spirit was the father of that Jew. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Just like the spirit is my father. <laughs> and I'm a Gentile. Go ahead, brother. But the spirit is the father of this Gentile. That's right. I wouldn't say how was that? The Bible said, have we not all one father? One father? Amen. Have not one God created us? Us. Us. Yes. Us. Yes. us. They got Jew, Italian, yeah. African, Amen. the Spaniard, Amen. the Greek. Amen. Doesn't matter who you are. No. You folk that says that there are three. Three what? Three what? God is father. Mm -hmm. God never was a son. God is in son. Mm -hmm. God is in this son now. Yeah. It's called the church. church. And God is Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Ghost is simply another title for spirit. Yeah. Well, what, what is that in the, in that you teach in school about two words that sound different but have the same meaning? Yeah. Harmonym? Synonyms? Synonyms. Synonyms. Ghosts, spirit, same thing. Same thing. Like flesh and dust. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Same like thing. God and Lord. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing. Like Father and Creator. Yeah. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Like Son of God and Son of Man. Yes. Same thing. Yeah. So now God is the title that the Father have. Jesus is the name of the Father. That's right. And then when he made a body, the body was called son, man, prophet, apostle, mm -hmm. minister. And that body came out the house of David, out the tribe of Judah. But the prophecy of the body comes from heaven. That's right. I know the is on getting on this, but I just want to start off by rectifying the Trinitarian myth. Myth. It's a myth. Yes, it it's is. It's like Greek theology. It's yeah. a myth. God is one. One. Hmm. Guys, so come to the end of this video. Like, what do you think about this? I learned a lot today because I used to believe that I'm not talking about the, the Trinity. I know that I consider God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So I used to think they are like you know different people. Two different people. All in one. But I guess this has made me understand that it's just God. Like the Spirit of God. But.
<coughs> deep down, he's trying to still explain the Trinity. Because if you into this way, he's trying to explain the Trinity in a way. But, like, to my own understanding, I believe the Trinity is, is God. I, I, I don't really, for me, if, when I read the Bible, it's read the New Testament, even if I'm not done. But I, I kind of see Jesus claiming to be God, but I didn't really see where the Holy Spirit came in. But if you like read, read it and understand the Bible, I kind of understand where he's coming from. I do understand it, but I feel this does not still explain the meaning of Trinity to me. Like, I don't think I'm satisfied with this answer. But him saying every all of them is God, then Jesus, God was in the body. And Spirit of God was in the body of Jesus, the baby. So why would the Spirit of God be in the body of Jesus and be praying to God? And then it's very confusing because I know that um, when Jesus was about to die, when he spoke to his father in heaven, yes. he was the Holy Spirit. Why are that yes. yeah. So if it was God, God that was... So why would God be saying... Can you get where I'm coming from? I, I, I can actually take Jesus as he is the begotten son of God. Because maybe, okay, God does not be God. I would say he is the son of God. Like God appointed him to do this. That kind of appointment. Like he was appointed to be the son of God. Like to take the name as the son of God. For him to restore. He is the Messiah. So I don't really see why people call him God. Like, yes. I still don't see the 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 logic of... And you know, I feel people get it all mixed up, especially yes. when they want to pray. Because yes. Jesus said, like, he's the door, you have to come to him. Yes. So, you see, when people are praying, they are praying and they are praying in the name of God or Jesus. And then I feel like there's a mix up there, but people don't really care. Because That's true. they are all one person. So. Okay, so what do you think about it? If you're just to like, just got our channel, guys. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace.